Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Morning Prayer. Thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, welcome to you uh, watching live and to you who will watch later on. It is Wednesday, the 1st of April. No, I won't be doing any April Fools. Um, let's pray, shall we? Loving God, we thank you for this new day. We thank you for the opportunities that it presents. And we pray for an awareness of your presence with us, whatever we're doing today. In Jesus' name, Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Let your ways be known upon the earth, your saving power among the nations. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, your only Son was lifted up, that he might draw the whole world to himself. May we walk this day in the way of the cross, and always be ready to share its weight, declaring your love for all the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And this morning I'm going to read Psalm 34. Psalm 34. I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. I will glory in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. This poor man called and the Lord heard him. He saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his holy people, for those who fear him lack nothing. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, my children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Whoever of you loves life and desires to see many good days, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from telling lies. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are attentive to their cry. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to blot out their name from the earth. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the broken-hearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. He protects all his bones, not one of them will be broken. Evil will slay the wicked, the foes of the righteous will be condemned. The Lord will rescue his servants. No one who takes refuge in him will be condemned. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. So this morning for our Old Testament reading, we are continuing in the book of Exodus. What plague will it be today? Chapter 9, 1 to 12, the plague on livestock and the plague of boils. 
Exodus chapter 9 verses 1 to 12. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go to Pharaoh and say to him, This is what the Lord, the God of the Hebrews, says, Let my people go, so that they may worship me. If you refuse to let them go and continue to hold them back, the hand of the Lord will bring a terrible plague on your livestock in the field, on your horses, donkeys and camels, and on your cattle, sheep and goats. But the Lord will make a distinction between the livestock of Israel and that of Egypt, so that no animal belonging to the Israelites will die. The Lord set out a time and said, Tomorrow the Lord will do this in the land. And the next day the Lord did it. All the livestock of the Egyptians died, but not one animal belonging to the Israelites died. Pharaoh investigated and found that not even one of the animals of the Israelites had died, yet his heart was unyielding, and he would not let the people go. Then the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Take handfuls of soot from a furnace, and let Moses toss it into the air in the presence of Pharaoh. It will become fine dust over the whole land of Egypt and festering boils will break out on people and animals throughout the land. So they took soot from a furnace and stood before Pharaoh. Moses tossed it into the air and festering boils broke out on people and animals. The magicians could not stand before Moses because of the boils that were on them and all the Egyptians. But the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart. And he would not listen to Moses and Aaron, just as the Lord had said to Moses. For our New Testament reading, we continue in the book of Hebrews. We are now at Hebrews chapter 12. Hebrews chapter 12, starting at verse 3. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood. And have you completely forgotten this word of encouragement that addresses you as a father addresses his son? It says, My son, do not make light of the Lord's discipline, and do not lose heart when he rebukes you, because the Lord disciplines the one he loves, and he chastens everyone he accepts as his son. Endure hardship as discipline. God is treating you as his children, for what children are not disciplined by their father? If you are not disciplined and everyone undergoes discipline, then you are not legitimate, not true sons and daughters at all. Moreover, we have all had human fathers who disciplined us and we respected them for it. How much more should we submit to the father of spirits and live? They disciplined us for a little while as they thought best, but God disciplines us for our good in order that we may share in his holiness. No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. Therefore, strengthen your feeble arms and weak knees. Make level paths for your feet, so that the lame may not be disabled, but rather healed. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. We preach Christ crucified, the power of God and the wisdom of God. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. God forbid that I should glory save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The Benedictus, the Song of Zechariah. 
The word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to those who are being saved, it is the power of God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you shall go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to those who are being saved, it is the power of God. So let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your cross. We thank you that by your suffering, by your death, by your resurrection, we are saved. As we prepare to remember your death and to celebrate your resurrection in Holy Week and Easter, we pray that you draw us all close to you and help us to follow your way. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we continue to pray for all those who are sick, whether through this virus or any other way. We lift up to, the, to you those who are in hospital. We pray for uh, those who are isolating those who are at home. Lord, bring your strength, your comfort, bring your healing, bring your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray especially for the loved ones, the relatives of those who are poorly at this time, whether um, relatives who are isolating and they cannot visit them, relatives who are in hospital who they cannot visit and we just pray for your comfort Lord. Lord in your mercy hear our prayer. Father we pray for our businesses particularly small and medium sized businesses all those who are facing a very difficult situation uh, for those whose jobs are under threat and Lord, we pray for the rollout of the support from the government, that it would happen quickly and efficiently, and that uh, as many businesses as possible will be saved from going under. Lord, we pray for those who work in supermarkets, in warehouses. We pray for delivery drivers. We pray for those who work in takeaways. We pray for uh, cleaners who clean in businesses and hospitals and shops. We pray for all these people who are being affected by this situation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, we continue to pray for all key workers, workers in the NHS, workers in council, workers in funeral directors, uh, workers in care homes, social workers, health visitors. We pray for all key workers that they could know your strength and support at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The collect for today. Most merciful God, 
who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world. Grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please join with me as we say the Lord's Prayer. Standing at the foot of the cross as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May Christ, who bore our sins on the cross, set us free to serve him with joy. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you, everybody. Uh, have a wonderful day. Uh, I'll see you this evening at around half five for evening prayer. God bless. <laughs>